guys, as you know, this is a tropical, tropical savanna and there's a lot of plants. I'm going to show you one of mine. Now, here is the toothbrush tree. It's not the actual tree, but it's a part of it. This provides, this stick here provides a brush and they use, they have to use brushes. Now, I want to show you my, my other one. It's it is the it's, it is the strangle fig. On the bottom, there's a there's a lot of on the bottom there are a lot of um, roots co coming down, and it doesn't look the best as you see right there. Now this is the cheetah. It is very fast, and you can find it a lot in desert in the Serengeti. It is very popular there. So those are all my organisms, and I hope you like this. So this is the tropical savanna and these are my organisms. So first of all, this is the white-breasted cormorant. It is a strong beak carnivore, and it'll dive down to the water to get food. Um, this is the gaboon viper. It is the has the longest fangs of any venomous snake, measuring up to about four centimeters. Um, this is the termites. You guys probably already know about termites, but it's a really small insect that they usually live in very large groups and mounds. One mound can hold up to about one million individual termites. Um, this is the frill neck lizard. Um, it is a very small but aggressive reptile. And yeah, my lion. The lion is a big and str a strong carnivore that will eat many different animals. You guys probably already know about lions, but this is just some. Um, Hi, I'm Zoe, and I wanted to tell you about some of the things and organisms that live in the tropical savanna biome. First, there is a Maasai giraffe, and it has it's the tallest land animal, and it they graze for 16 to 20 hours each day. Next, I wanted to tell you about the female ostrich, and the ostrich is the world's largest bird, and it has three stomachs. Next, I wanted to tell you about the dart frogs. These are dart frogs and they are usually the size of a paperclip and they have lots of different colored spots. Some of them can be different colors. I'm going to show you some of my organisms. This is the Mexican poppy. It's our invasive species. It has four petals, blooms in the spring, and yeah. Okay, so this is the dung beetle. It, eats, um, it mostly eats um, dung and feces of other animals. This is a sausage tree. The sausage tree is um, an invasive species and it is actually not sausages, it's fruit. And the chameleon doesn't camouflage itself to blend in with its surroundings. It camouflages itself because of the um, light and um, temperature and emotions. That is golden toad. The golden toad, um, um, the females can produce 250 eggs, 500 eggs um, in a week for the six week waiting period. And this is the southern ground hornbill. The southern ground hornbill is the largest of the two hornbills. And yeah, very, very big birds. They can grow up to four feet.